Sky News with Colin Brazier and Gillian Joseph. Our top story at seven. Docked points and fined. McLaren have tonight paid the price for their part in the alleged Formula One spying scandal. They've had all of their points in the Constructors' Championship docked and been fined more than £50 million. Pounds. The drivers, Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso, will keep their points. Well, here's our sports presenter, John Desborough, here in the studio. And, John, it's a colossal fine. Remind people who haven't necessarily been following the season all the way through how this began and how we got here. It's the case that's been known as Spygate throughout sports since it was actually blown by the Times newspaper just before the Silverstone Grand Prix in July. It all started off uh, when the home of a disaffected uh, McLaren technician was raided back in July and 780 pages of Ferrari information were found, enough, as the FIA said in July, to build, to test, to run, to work on and to win with the current Formula One car. The FIA then charged McLaren. The World Motorsport Council then found McLaren guilty of unauthorised possession of Ferrari information, but in the July case no sanction was found because of lack of evidence. Ferrari didn't like that one little bit, and they and the Italian motorsport appealed against it. That was due to be heard today until new evidence came forward, which was thought to be email traffic and mobile phone text, which we still haven't heard today was the case. And details of phone and text message traffic were found between Mike Coughlin, who was at the McLaren end of this, and another disaffected Englishman who was working for Ferrari at the time, who was Nigel Stepney. And the uh, accusation was that Stepney had let all these details go to McLaren and that McLaren had used it. In July, the FIA said they couldn't prove whether McLaren had gained or had benefited from that, but today they've decided that they have, and they fined them £50 million, dock their points from 2007's championship, withdrawn them from next year's championship as well, which makes it even more draconian. But thankfully for all of us fans of Formula One, have left Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso's points in, uh, in place. Uh, Sterling Moss can join us on the phone. Sterling, good evening to you. I'm absolutely staggered. Good evening. It, uh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Murray Walker said he couldn't believe this and had almost lost faith in the sport. Do you feel the same way? I do. I think this is absolutely terrible. I, I mean... Because of two crooks, the whole of the, the whole of motor racing is being shaken. I mean, the only thing that they've done, which which is realistic, is they've allowed the drivers to keep their points and they can continue. But I mean, to ban a, a factory like McLaren, who are sensational, I mean, to ban them not only for this year and next year as well, and and to take their points, yeah, fair enough, all right, do that. I mean, something's got to happen. But I mean, to, then to add a a, a fine on like that, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I feel really badly. I mean, Ron Dennis is not an easy man, but my goodness me, I really feel he's been done down. I do, really. Sterling, the, the, the bonus, the benefit in this for the time being is that this great talent that Ron Dennis and McLaren have unearthed in the shape of Lewis Hamilton, who has had the most sensational rookie season in this sport, still survives and his dream of winning this world championship in his very first year is still on so we have to be thankful for small mercies don't we well yeah that that is terrific but i mean and that that's i think is a, is an obviously good thing but that's been i should think engineered by bernie eccleston because it would ruin the whole whole deal if it didn't happen but i just i just can't get my i can't i just can't get around this this fantastic fan i can't Sterling, a few of us around the world today will throw our arms up and say, what kind of a sport is this, that it goes to a court, it has hearings like this, that it hands out fines to its own people of a hundred million dollars? I, I can't answer it. I'm, I, I'm staggered that it happened. I really am. I, I, I think obviously something should be done. I mean, the two guys particularly and one thing and another. But I, I'm personally not convinced that the, that the McLaren was that, was that much enhanced by anything they might have had because I, I'm inclined to wonder how, whether they actually got the stuff. I mean, I know it went to the McLaren personnel, but they were keeping it for themselves, I think, to sell to others later on. And what, is, what, what do drivers make of this? You were a top driver in your day. How yeah, would you react to this now? Would you yeah, stay with McLaren if you were Lewis Hamilton or Fernando Alonso? Or would you now be looking at your options for the future? 
Well, obviously they have to. I mean, if they, if, if 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 Mercedes aren't going to be allowed to race, I mean, they've got to do that. But that, but I mean, it is such a, an awful thing for the public as well. I mean, we're seeing the best racing we've seen for years. Apart from, I mean, Lewis is a stunning, a stunning driver as is Alonso. But we're now going to lose a, a, this team. I think it, it's absolutely terrible. I mean, I, I just I just don't know what the devil I do. I mean, it's something I can't I can't give an answer to. It's, it's unparalleled. It's never happened before, and I hope to God it will never happen again. Sterling, is this uh, an English problem? Do you think two disaffected Englishmen is, is what this is all about? Nigel Stepney, who had been working at Ferrari, who was unhappy with the job that Ferrari had given him this season. He, I mean, you and I remember he was the man who, with Ross Braun and with Michael Schumacher, who created the, the Ferrari dynasty. Uh, there was a team reshuffle. It goes always on in Formula One, and he was dumped with a factory-based job. He got on the phone to Mike Coughlin, his mate at McLaren, and the die was cast. Is it, uh, yeah, but you're talking of two guys who are criminals. Let's face it. I mean, man, you don't steal things like that and hand it around. I mean, you're not talking of ordinary people, not the run of the mill. You're talking of a couple of crooks. I mean, there's no two ways about it. That they are, they are. I mean, Coughlin and Stepney, unbelievable the damage they've done to it, to the whole thing. And let, a final thought for Lewis Hamilton tonight. How do you think he will be feeling now that his team has been found guilty of? using technical information from another team that belonged to Ferrari. What does he do? What does he think? Well, I think he'll, he'll, he will be like myself. I mean, I really do not believe, and I don't care what they say, I do not believe that Ron Dennis would, be, would, be, would know about it. I really do. Now, OK, he should have done, he was the captain of the ship, but I would put a lot of my money on the fact that Ron Dennis, his integrity, he wouldn't, he would, he's not going to do that sort of thing. And I, I'm sure that Lewis will feel the same way, and, and they will back him up in every way they possibly can. So, Sterling, thank you. Not at all. Thanks. Sterling Moss, talking there about the McLaren Formula One team, who were found guilty today in Paris of using leaked technical documents, documents that belong to the Ferrari team. It's been known all summer as what you've heard as Spygate. But the good news for Lewis Hamilton and for his teammate Fernando Alonso in the McLaren team are that they won't be punished. Their points won't be taken away, unlike the McLaren team who lose their points from this season's Constructors' Championship. They've been withdrawn already from next season's Championship and fined an unprecedented £50 million. Pounds. And probably worth making the point that Sterling Moss had some strong opinions which we can't necessarily corroborate at this stage. John? I thought you might say that. Thank you very much. John Desborough, thanks. Now, again, as we've been hearing in this hour, disgraceful, the Formula One McLaren team tonight, but relief at least for their golden boy, Lewis Hamilton, the uh, Formula One driver's championship leader will be allowed to keep his championship points this season and his bid for title glory he's currently leading the standings uh, despite as we've been hearing uh, tonight the mclaren team being fined 50 million pounds and banned from the constructors championship which they lead for the rest of the season they had a one two in the last grand prix at monza at the weekend but all their points for that have been taken away and uh, Hamilton and Alonso can still contest the driver's standing. So Ron Dennis will be hoping to hear from him, uh, the head of the McLaren team, in the next hour or so as he digests what's a, a huge punishment. Uh, Ferrari, uh, they're great rivals for the uh, title this season and the team from whom uh, the documents were taken, which uh, broke the rules and which led to this massive fine and punishment tonight. They say they are satisfied uh, that the truth has emerged and are happy with the outcome. Much more on that for you, and we'll be hearing from Ron Dennis later on this evening. Stay tuned. The cricket... This is a punishment of McLaren, the team, but not of their drivers. Lewis Hamilton's championship dream remains alive. But his boss and mentor, Ron Dennis, will be shocked tonight at a huge fine, unprecedented in the history of Formula One. I'm absolutely appalled. I'm disgusted. I'm dismayed. This is the most draconian penalty that has ever been handed down to any team in the history of Formula One. Uh, my immediate reaction is that uh, there is a grave possibility of it wiping McLaren off the Formula One map altogether. Uh, and it, I can see no logic in telling the team that their points are going to be disallowed for, next, for this year, but the drivers will be allowed to retain their points.